Legion Tactical Cutlery. Hold the line! Hey everyone, how you guys doing? It's Grugs here of Legion Tactical Cutlery. Welcome back, Legionnaires, troops, and any new recruits. We are growing slowly, and I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thank you for so much for subscribing and taking the time to check out these videos. In front of you, you see the Flissa 14-inch buoy with hardwood handles. It's a good-looking budget blade. I wanted to show this to you guys. It's approximately $20 and available on Amazon. I think it's pretty cool. Always wanted to get this. And now I have the opportunity to do some initial impressions for you guys. So let's get into it. All right, Legionnaires, as always, what is in your pocket today? I am carrying the very awesome Sogtelis ATK. This thing is awesome. It's well made and it's pretty inexpensive. It's a great budget folder. Check it out. Let me know what's in your pocket, troops, and write it down in the comments below. All right. Veterans, active military, as always, thanks for checking out my channel. Appreciate you guys being here. Thank you very much for your service. Enjoy the video. All right, Legionnaires, let's go over some quick specs. Now, I've gotten these specs off of Amazon. They are not the greatest specs. I did ask the vendor to send me information, but they haven't gotten back to me yet. So any updates I get, I will uh, post in the comment and in the description section. But for now, I've got um, this information off of Amazon. So it's a 14 inch buoy knife uh, for the overall length. Okay, uh, eight and a half inch blade. Okay, and a five and a half inch handle. All right, weight is 17.8 ounces. And they're saying here that the thickness is 53 and 64 inch. I'm gonna have to take their word on that. All right, they also say it's a sharp clip point blade uh, made for hunting. It's a stainless steel, and I think it's a 3CR13 MOV type of steel. You can't quote me on it because it's not on the specs on Amazon, although they do have a mossy oak version, which I think is the same thing, and that mossy oak version is 3CR13. Okay, uh, it is a full tang uh, with a wood handle, all right, and uh, it looks like it's got some brass fittings. I'm not 100% sure. It does not say this on the uh, documentation or the specifications. Uh, it does come with a leather sheath, which I will show you in a close-up, and uh, it, that's it for now. Okay, that's all they got. All right, troops, let's get to the close-up. All right, guys and gals, let's do a close-up look at this knife. I like it. I always did. I've reviewed a couple other Flissa knives. I've actually went out and tested one of them, and it performed phenomenally for 25 bucks. So as of right now, I got a lot of faith in this company. Okay, let's check this knife out. I love the clip point. I love the buoy shape. I, I think it's awesome. Um, it has a hollow grind, as you could see right here. Okay, the Flissa logo is a little bit large over here on the blade. I know some of you don't like that, but it's not too bad. It's kind of darkened a little bit, so it should be okay. It's got a nice swedge over here by the clip, as you can see. I, I, I'm just loving this clip point. I think it's a, it's a, it's a aggressive look, you know, and I, I kind of like that a lot. It's pretty thick, okay? It is a pretty thick knife, and the good news is it is full tang. And for a twenty-dollar knife, I mean that's that's kind of nice. The handles, the way they contoured it and they shaped it, you know. Um, again, I'm not sure what this is. I don't know if this is. I, I really don't know what this is. I can't even answer. Not, like I said, I did uh, email the vendor asking them for specifications on this knife. Their specifications. And uh, they have not gotten back to me yet. But it's not going to stop me from doing an initial impressions review. The grinding is okay. It's it's not the greatest, but it's a $20 knife. So it's, you know, I'll let it fly in my book for 20 bucks. Okay. But at least it's full tang. You know, you've got a nice full tang uh, knife over here. What I do suggest to the Flissa uh, designers, put a hole here so we can put a lanyard on there. And, you know, we can get a good grip on the end to uh, do some chopping if we need to do some heavy chopping. 
That's that's one suggestion I have for you guys. I love the finger grooves over here, as you can see. All right. There are no hot spots. It's well rounded off. The wood, as you can see right there, it's nicely rounded off. All right. And we've got a couple of pins holding it down. And they seem to be pretty square and flush. All right. Nothing protruding. The full tank seems to be very flush with the uh, knife. Just some little areas where the grinds, as you can see, is not the greatest. But uh, again, for $20 for me, personally, it's not a deal breaker. As you can see, that's not so grinded up so nicely either. But again, for $20, it, it, it for me, you know, initial impressions, it's not that big of a deal. Okay. But I can tell you that everything seems to be very flush. Okay, so I'm not sure if the whoever was making this knife was in a rush or what, uh, but still not bad, you know. Um, the grip is is positive. It's definitely got a choil over here, so you could. It's kind of small, but it's you know it's for sharpening. But if you need to do some close up work, you can. The guard is minimal. It's not you know uh, protruding on both sides too much, so you can do a little bit of work close-up work if you needed to put your finger over here, all right, for whatever reason on the spine. The spine is not 90 degree sharp. Well, yeah, it depends, I think, on where you're going. So you can see I'm taking off some of the material, mm, but it gets a little smooth on some areas. Let's see this side. I'm hoping to get into the woods tomorrow. You know, and I would love to do a demonstration on this one. Um, so let's see, let's see what the day brings tomorrow. But I, again, I want to give you some initial impressions. Uh, the shorts that I put out was pretty positive on this knife. It looks like a lot of people were interested. So I figured let's do a, an initial impressions review. And uh, again, for 20 bucks, it's not bad. Now, let's get back to the handle. The handle is very comfortable, okay? No matter how I'm holding it right now like this, it seems to feel pretty good, you know? Let's do a reverse grip. Uh, the reverse grip is very comfortable. Let me just, I'm kind of curious if I do this with my pinky. Yeah, it's not bad. Seems to work that choil. It's big enough to put your pinky there. All right, uh, let's see. Everywhere I hold this knife seems to be very positive, okay? Very comfortable in the hand, no hot spots whatsoever. Again, I want to just reiterate a hole over here uh, would be perfect for a lanyard. Um, holding it, doing some initial, you know, air chopping, feels pretty good. It's definitely front heavy. All right, you can definitely go into the middle to do a little bit harder, harder, uh, more leverage type of work. And again, if you had that hole, I mean, I guess if you really needed to get back here, you could to do some real heavy duty chopping on a very thick log of some sort or branch. Uh, all in all though, I think that this handle is, is decent and it works out okay, all right? Uh, soon, like again, as soon as I get any kind of information from the vendor, I will update on what this material is. I really don't know what it is. I don't know if it's brass, I don't think so, but I'm not sure what this material is. If anybody might know what it is, please leave a comment uh, below, I would appreciate it. So that's about it, guys, for now. Um, hopefully I can get some fatwood, uh, do some testing on some fatwood, do some scraping, make some individual curls. Um, I want to get some pressure-treated wood and do some testing on the pressure-treated wood. I am hoping that tomorrow will be as nice as today is here in New York. So fingers crossed, troops, that I can get back out there. It'll be my... Uh, you know, first outing in a while since the winter began. I give no promises, but keep your fingers crossed anyway. Let's take a quick look at the leather sheath. All right, the leather sheath is adequate. It's not the greatest sheath. I really don't even know if this is leather or not. It says leather in the um, in the specs, but I'm not 100% sure. But still, a pretty decent sheath, in my opinion. Just a couple of critiques. These are a little loose right here. So I'm not sure if these are mass produced or what, but these are a little loose. Let's just pop the knife in to the sheath and I will show you what I mean. So the bottom one is a little bit tighter than the top one, Troops. All right. 
Let's see. So this one is not too bad. It seems to be pretty tight on the, on the knife, on the knife handle, okay? Not bad, so if I flip it over reverse, it's, it's coming out slightly, but it's still pretty decent. Now, the top snap over here is very loose. This could be made a little bit tighter and some more attention to detail over here. Now look at that, okay? So I kind of basically want to just, you know, cut this one off because right now this is useless, unfortunately. Um, so again, to the Flissa uh, people, if you're watching this, um, great, great design, great knife, great budget blade. Um, you may want to pay just a little bit more attention to detail. I'm not sure if maybe it was this particular sheath or knife or if they're all made like this, but it would be a good idea, you know, to, uh, to just double check this sheath uh, uh, manufacturing. Okay, and, and maybe fix that up. And the only other uh, suggestion I have from the Flissa people, okay, which I love is a lanyard hole, you know, and that's for chopping tasks. But other than that, I see no problem with this knife uh, doing any kind of work out in the field, um, processing game. Let me get a piece of paper and show you how sharp this knife is right out of the box, okay? So, a $20 knife, you got a nice sharp knife coming right out of the box. You saw the way it just cut that paper. I can't wait to take this into the woods. Hopefully I can get there tomorrow and do some work. All right, troops, legionnaires, and new recruits. Thank you for taking the time to check out this video up to this point. Again, this is just an initial impressions. I hope you enjoyed it and I will make sure that this knife is put through its paces when I get the chance. Thanks again, guys. I want to bring awareness to everybody. Hashtag 22 a day. Hashtag 22 a day no more. There are uh, active military and veterans that once they get out of the service, they face a lot of challenges. And some of these challenges, unfortunately, is suicide. So I'm going to leave uh, at the end of this video some slides, okay, that has phone numbers, uh, websites that you can go to, and a heartfelt message from a legionnaire named Martin Miller. He was a Vietnam veteran from 66 to 69. He has a heartfelt message. Please read that message. I'm also going to have those messages in the comments section and the description sections below. Please seek the help that you guys have earned and deserved. All right, troops, legionnaires, don't forget, let me know what is in your pocket. Okay. Also, I want to show you guys real quick, new knife day. I got myself a SOG TELUS. FKL for frame lock. So I'm going to be reviewing this real soon. All right, guys. Thanks for taking the time. As always, appreciate you guys. You guys hold the line and take care. Bye. Legionnaires!